number 17, the mass of the atom fluorine that has an atomic mass of 19 with an atomic number of 9 is 18.99840 AMU. Letter A, calculate its binding energy per atom in millions of electron volts. Okie dokie. All right, so whenever we're talking about a binding energy and we're dealing with one type of isotope here with a mass, there's really only one formula that we can use, and it's probably the most famous formula of all time. Everybody knows this formula, but nobody really uses it, right? Unless you are in the physics world and you're obviously learning this chemistry stuff, <laughs> but it's Mr. Einstein's formula himself, Mr. Good old uh, Albert, right? It is E equals MC squared. We're finally using it, right? You, you're here of this all the time, but you never use it. Well, now we're going to use it, right? You've been dying to use it your whole life. But today's the day, so let's go for it. Now, we want to calculate the binding energy. E equals MC squared. The E is the binding energy. Okay, so we know that we're going to be looking for binding energy. And if you're using this formula, the binding energy is going to be in joules. Now, M stands for mass. However, it's a little bit special. This is the mass defect. Whenever I see the word defect, especially for E equals MC squared, I think of the word difference. Now, there's a difference between what theoretically an atom weighs and what it actually weighs, right? So depending on how many protons, neutrons, or electrons an atom has, in theory, it should weigh a certain amount. However, nothing's perfect in life, right? As much as I try really hard, I'm a recovering perfectionist, if you have noticed that, you know, as far as me drawing and I have to keep everything centered, but I'm trying to get a little better with that. But nothing in life is perfect, and theory doesn't always translate to actuality, and that is perfectly okay. So that's the idea here. We need to find out the difference between the theory mass of this atom versus what it actually weighs. Now, they told us that the actual mass, right, this actual mass of the atom is 18.99840 AMU. So we know that we're going to take that unit for this. However, we have to find out what the theoretical mass is. And that comes from knowing how many protons, how many neutrons, and how many electrons this atom has. So if we're dealing with 19 on the top, F, and 9, right, always start with the bottom number first. This bottom number is the atomic number. And the atomic number is always the number of protons. All right, well, we definitely know that this guy has nine protons, so we'll put that down. So we got nine protons here. And the top number, which is the 19, this signifies the atomic mass. So this is going to tell us how many protons and neutrons there are. So let's write that down. So this is going to be protons and the neutrons. Okay. So if we know that we have nine protons and a total of 19 protons and neutrons, what would we have to do to these two numbers to get the number of neutrons? Yeah, you just subtract them, right? 19 minus nine is a total of 10 neutrons. So we got that. But then what about the electrons? Well, just know that for a neutral atom, the protons are always going to equal the electrons because as many positive as, you know, positives that you have, you have to have the same amount of negatives to cancel it out to make the atom neutral. So in this case, they didn't give me a charge, so I know that it's neutral. So if I have nine protons, that means I must have nine electrons. All right, now what we're gonna do is we have to find out the theoretical mass. Now I put down here the theory mass of what one proton is, one neutron and one electron in terms of AMU. 
So if we have nine protons and each is 1.0073 AMU, I'm just going to have to times by the 1.0073 AMU. And do the same for the other ones, right? I had 10 neutrons. Each one weighs 1.0087 AMU. And then for nine electrons, each weighs significantly less than the others. Electrons do weigh less than protons and neutrons. So let's just see what we get. We got nine times 1.0073. So I get 9.0073. 0657 AMUs for my protons. I got 10 times 1.0087, which is 10.087 AMUs for the neutron total, and then 9 times 0.1230 is 55. 55.00495 AMU. So this is technically what the atom should weigh, but now we just got to find out the total. So the total, you just got to add all three of these up, right? So let's see. So without too much error, I'm just going to add these three numbers. So this plus this plus that. And there we go. So we get a total of 19.15765 AMUs. So this is my theory. So in theory, my atom should weigh 19.15765 AMUs. But in actuality, because remember, nothing's perfect, it only weighs 18.99840 AMUs. So there was a difference. Well, what's the difference? Well, yeah, we would just subtract the two numbers, 19.15765 minus the 18.99840 AMU. So we're going to take this number and minus it from 18.99840. I'm just going to take a look at that number, make sure I wrote it in right, 18.998, yep, okay. And we get a difference of 0 0.15925 AMUs. Okay, so first things first is pause the video if you need to uh, because I'm just going to get rid of this math. This we don't need anymore because we did all the hard work there and I do need the space because there's going to be a lot more stuff coming out for this one. So pause the video if you do need this calculation, but it's going bye-bye. Now the reason why it's going bye-bye is because AMU is not the right unit for this formula. This is a physics-based formula, and physics-based formulas have different standard units than uh, chemistry standard units. For example, when we're plugging in, I don't know, um, what, what formula usually has, um, trying to find a formula that has grams. Can you think of one that's faster than me? I'm not thinking of density, because that's different, but generally density is grams per mole, right? Not grams per mole, Christina. Grams per mil. In physics, since they're, you're dealing with much larger scales, the, um, the general unit is kilograms. So I have to convert this now AMU value into a kilogram. Enter in the AMU to gram conversion. And then from there, we can convert from grams to kilograms. So this is going back to dimensional analysis. Start with what you're given, 0 0.15925, and maybe we'll put that in red, AMUs. We do not want AMUs anymore. That goes on the bottom. We want a new unit. We want the grams. So that goes on the top. And according to my uh, conversion factor, one AMU, which is one atomic mass unit, is going to be a super, super, super small amount of grams. 1.6605 times 10 to the negative 24th. That's crazy. But now, don't stop there, because this is, chem this is physics, basically, and not chemistry. So, just times by that ratio, we cancel these units out. 
And now I don't want grams, I need kilograms. So grams goes on the bottom, kilograms goes up on top. What's the units that we know and love that go with grams and kilograms? One kilogram equals a thousand grams. Grams cancel out, and now we have the unit of kilograms. So let's just do this all in one shot and see what we get. So I'm gonna take this number, I'm gonna times it by 1.6605 times 10 to the negative 24th, and then I'm just gonna divide by 1,000. Just making sure that I plugged in the right numbers. And looks good to me. And there we go. 2.644 times 10 to the negative 28th kilograms. And that's gonna be the M value. So we got 2.644 times 10 to the negative 28th, right? Yeah, kilograms. Now finally we can move on to C, which is a constant number. The constant number for C here, you might have seen it with your frequency and wavelength chapter, but this is the speed of light. Whether you wanna say that it's three times 10 to the eighth, or you could say 2.99, times 10 to the eighth, it doesn't really matter, but meters per second, and that is the speed of light. I think they say actually 2.998, but you know, wh whatever, right? So, pause the video if you need to. We're going to get rid of this. Actually, actually I don't have to. I'm gonna get rid of this because this isn't important anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I do want to actually post up the protons, neutrons, and electrons again because we might actually need that later on. We had said that we had nine protons, we had 10 neutrons, and we had nine electrons. Just in case we need those, we have those. And now I'm just gonna bring this all the way down here. Now we have a little bit more room. So now we're gonna do E equals MC squared and find that binding energy. So E equals, what kind of E was that, Christina? E equals M, which was the 2.644 times 10 to the negative 28th times the C, 2.99 times 10 to the eighth, and that's squared. Now you can plug this all into your calc at once. So I'm gonna take my whole number, because it's not the final answer, so I shouldn't be really, really be rounding, and I'm gonna times that by 2.99 times 10 to the eighth, and then I'm gonna square that. That looks good to me. Press enter. And now we have 2.364 times 10 to the negative 11th, and we did already state that this was gonna come out in joules. But, we wanted the binding energy per atom in millions of electron volts. So I have to use my other conversion to go to millions, that's the same thing as saying mega, millions is mega, so that's capital M, and then electron volts is EB. And here's the conversion down here. One million of electron volts equals 1.02 1.602 times 10 to the negative 13th. So let's do that conversion over here. 2.364 times 10 to the negative 11th joules times by a ratio. You don't want that joules anymore that goes on the bottom. You want the millions of electron volts, so MeV. And now let's just plug in the numbers for every one million of electron volts, you have 1.602, and I need a little bit more room, times 10 to the negative 13th. Joules cancel out. We're left with millions of electron volts. So we got that going on. And let's see, I'm gonna take this number and I'm gonna divide it by 1.602 times 10 to the negative 13th. Voila! So I got 148, uh, I guess 147, 
we could do that, right? 140, I guess 147.6, and that's millions of electron volts. Now this is for the atom. So I got 147.6 millions of electron volts per atom. This is the answer for letter A. Now, the last piece of the puzzle is actually the easiest. So I can move this over. Let's move this over. Beautiful. And now for letter B, so I don't know, maybe, you know, the whole thing is letter A. Letter B, we need to calculate the binding energy per nucleon. So, nucleon, nucle, right? This is only talking about the nucleus. And there's only two subatomic particles here that are part of the nucleus, right? You have your protons plus your neutrons. So we're going to take that binding energy. In this case, we got 147.6 millions of electron volts. And it says literally per, so that means division... And we're just going to divide by the total number of nucleons that we have. The total number of nucleons, protons plus neutrons. I don't count the electrons because they're not part of the nucleus. So I have a total of 19 nucleons. Right? Nucleons. So I'm just going to take that value and divide it by 19. And that one was pretty simple. So we're going to take this number and divide by 19. And you get roughly about 7.77. Wow, lucky number sevens. Millions of electron volts per nucleon. And that is the final answer for both of these. How fun is that? Let's color it in. Color, 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 color. Oh yeah. Wee. Okay. So, what'd you guys think? I hope this really helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We opened up memberships for the new school year if you guys want to help us out a little bit more. Which in turn, we will be able to help you guys out way more. Because uh, we'll have tons of perks. We'll have more uh, videos out for you guys. So, yeah. Thank you so much for all your support thus far. And I hope you're having a great day. Keep study hard, okay? Keep study hard. <laughs> Keep studying hard. I will talk to you soon, okay? See you later, alligator. Bye.